You Red Bull guzzlers, how the hell are ya? The Bonico, the infested arm cannon that looks like the Big Daddy version of the Phage, is a beast of a weapon, and not just because it looks like an infested idolon penis, you can acquire this thing from your lazy dodo's biological research lab. This new thing has two fire modes that could make for some interesting mechanics but in practice, it does not even matter, which I will get to later. Being classified as a shotgun. The Bonico's regular fire mode discharges a volley of infested boulder darts with a drunk Russian trajectory. These darts have very high critical chance and critical damage and by nature, deal toxin and slash damage. This thing also comes with built-in punch through which will make it very nice for mag or for ammo economy thanks to blasting through layers of lined up space scum. The secondary fire mode fires a burst of three alien turd grenades that explode on impact. These things deal viral damage with very high status chance and almost non-existent crit chances. Therefore, the crit damage will hit like a truck. Now what is sexy about this is that it will deal viral damage. So, in a perfect world one may conclude that it would be tactically clever to first prime the enemies with viral by using all fire grenades and then finishing them off with primary fire and those erotically high crits, right? Well, no not really. Not because it doesn't work that way but because it will not matter. You see, the all-fire grenades will not only constantly proc their own viral, but also anything else you have modified on the primary fire, which means that effectively you do not even need to ever use primary fire unless you insist on offering your ass to the Church of Crit Cringe. Both fire modes will completely obliterate everything on the star chart making everything easy mode. On steel path levels however, this changes a little bit. Now on steel path you will sometimes benefit from priming the enemies with with 2 or 3 alt fire shots and then finish them off with high crit primary fire. That works pretty well, but you will also constantly run out of ammo, which in and of itself is not much of a big deal since this cannon regenerates ammo all on its own after a short delay. But, here is the thing, I suspect you enjoy shooting shit more than perpetually reloading, so I would proposition to you, to ignore primary fire altogether and simply spam alt fire every second and a half or so. Why? Well like I said, it will proc viral and anything that you modify it with one way or another so alt fire grenades is best of both worlds. Also, using alt fire is way more ammo efficient, as long as you fire with some rhythm, you will never run out of ammo. Using this method, not even steel path bastards will bother you much. All in all I would say this weapon is a must have. It's fun and looks cool. In a gross way, here are my builds. Let's start with the Grenier Killer. As you can see, I decided to go with heat and corrosion, plus laser sight for extra crits when aiming. You can replace laser sight with whatever tickles your rear end if you want to. Cleanse Grenier for example. To me, this spilt is more versatile across more enemies so this is what I'm rolling with. As mentioned, my modified heat and corrosion also work with the viral from the alt fire. So I never need to care about the primary unless I get tired of clicking mouse wheel button. Now for corpus, I have two builds for you. One of them will rob them of their shields entirely and the other completely ignores them and just bypasses shields. If you do not understand the difference there, then I recommend you watch my bypassing video. What you need to know about these two builds is that the stripping build will work consistently better against robotics as well. You should notice that they die to this build way easier than with the other build. The bypassing build will almost struggle with robotics therefore but not really. You will notice that this one just melts corpus away. Regardless, in the end it comes down to your personal flavor. Both will get the job done. Personally, I kinda like to educate the corpus that I am not impressed by their puny shields before I kill them. So on this gun, I like stripping the shields completely. You, 
should do whatever the hell you want though. Now, it is time for my almighty Cephalon verdict. I Cephalon Jizo, deem this weapon. What is it, son? I don't know, sir. But it looks like a giant dick! <laughs>